everyone and welcome. This is Melissa. I'm reviewing Lyft. I did a video on this <laughs> over the weekend. Actually, it was Friday. <laughs> it was Friday night. A uh, great prediction I made here. The Lyft will continue falling. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a great read on this. Everyone should go back and listen to that video. I should, I should go back and listen to that video. It's good for me to take myself to remember what I even said. <laughs> because in the live moment, the things that I see, it's so good to get them on, on, on record. Uh, but anyways, you know, this gap down today, no surprise, fell, fell, and continued to fall. This is a horrible open for this stock as far as I'm concerned. When you look at this now, it's dropped almost 20 points. Almost got to 68. 69.12 was a low, and the high was 88.60. Oh, my Lanta. So, needless to say, lift needs a lift. <laughs> and that's pretty much all she wrote, so... I mean, this is just a stay away at this point here, unless you would we would short it, um, which I haven't even looked up anything about that. But I mean, this is just does not have enough data, but it's certainly not a good buy here. Horrible, horrible open for this between Friday and Monday, and um, I don't I don't think Friday is a good day to open a open an, to do an IPO opening. Anyways, uh, I, it's a bad day to do it <laughs> to be to and, and this was a horrible open. I just can't stress it enough, but I explained technically speaking why it was on the video that I did on Friday night, which everyone should listen to. So again, I'm just reaffirming here that the stock continued in the direction down from my call on Friday. Not only did it fall today, it gapped down today and fell. So I'll be watching Lyft and we'll see if this gets a lift or not. If you're interested in learning my Golden Gap system, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Next class is April 13th and 14th, and that's how I read stocks like this and determine and predict where they're going.